how to schedule a meeting in microsoft outlook hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can schedule a meeting in outlook so having said that let's just jump into the video so here as you can see i'm in the calendar i'm in the outlook application right here and on the left hand side you can go ahead and switch between mail calendar people to-do list word excel powerpoint and you can see other applications over here as well down below you'll find calendars here you can go ahead and set up multiple calendars one for holidays one for work one for personal time whatever you want to call it you can add that over there and then over here at the top you can go ahead and create a new event now i've also logged in into the teams application over here this is on chrome and here you can also see the calendar so you can go ahead and create a meeting from here as well and it'll show up on the calendar and they're both the same account so we don't have to worry about that here you've got the meet you've got the community over here as well so pretty cool so let's get into it first things first i'll go ahead and go into the outlook application switch to calendar and then here you can even switch to work week week month so that you can get a better view and then i'll click on new event and if i click on the arrow right next to it i can go ahead and select mail or event right let's go ahead and select new event this window is going to pop up right here and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a event right so here at the top you've got your responses you've got your busy you've got your minutes before the meeting or before the event you've got your title over here and here you've got your location and you've got your attachments right here and here you can see when it is being held you can move it around and the time is going to change like so here you can go ahead and click on it and change it to a specific date so let's say we go ahead and add it right tomorrow at 12 actually at 5 or 4 p.m to 4 30 or to 5 p.m a whole hour there we go and here we've got response options allow forwarding you can hide attendees list if you want uh, you've got your busy over here out of office you can see right here free we'll go with busy before and then you can categorize it however you want so you can add different labels so red mean let's say red means it's urgent orange is medium blue or green could be it's not that important but it could mean something else so you can go ahead and set up different labels i'll go with the red label for now and you can even set it to private as well by clicking on this button in here you can enable skype meeting as well but for this one you can see right here for this one uh it'll automatically add it to skype as well and here you can invite multiple people right here so you can see you got a bunch of different emails as well and then you can set up location you can say it's either in person if you select in person it'll be different and if you want over here you can go ahead and add a different location let's say we want different locations over here you can add it totally depends on you but for now we won't add the location so let's go ahead and add it so let's say we have a youtube meeting like so and you can say this is not on skype so i'll keep it open we can allow everything else yeah everything looks good and then over here you can describe the meeting on what it is that you want to talk about and you can even attach certain things to it you can browse your computer upload the video go ahead and upload something i want to upload this thumbnail and we can upload it to the drive as well but for now let's go ahead and upload that we want to talk about this thumbnails or whatever you want right and then once it's done just simply hit the save button and you've got yourself a meeting right here so here you can see meeting pretty simple it's done for the ninth and after that we're going to come over here into the teams right microsoft teams and here we can go ahead and check out the calendar here let's go ahead and switch the view to a week there we go and if we scroll down below we can see we have the meeting right here so now it is scheduled now we can go ahead and edit it here as well and it totally depends on you here you can go ahead and set it to different organizations you can see currently this is the organization right here and here we can go ahead and select contacts linkedin otherwise other options as well this is the tracking over here and this is the time zone this is the templates over here we can see we have our description what we have do not repeat everything looks good we can save it as over here as well and also if we come over here into the meet section we can find it over here as well we can see right here scheduled meetings right here and we can share invites by clicking on the share invite button over here and then we can go into communities and then over here we can select post and over here we can go ahead and add the link over here as well you can see right here we got the block we got the links here we can see we got the post type 
announcement if we click on the link button here we can paste the link as well and here we've got the text as well let me go back and see i think i might not have copied the link let me go back over here click on it and open it up make it larger here we've got everything we can add different people to it by clicking on the three buttons we can go ahead and select theme insider download that's the desktop app and everything we don't want to go over that going back over here copy to clipboard this is the invite link right yeah this is the invite link we can add our people over here as well and we should be able to go ahead and add the link over here uh but i suppose it's we can't as of right now but that's fine okay one more thing i just realized this is what we needed to i forgot I explained it but i skipped over this so one thing that you need to do is you want to click on the meeting all right and if you want it to appear in teams and you can easily join it you got to go ahead and turn on the button over here which says join skype meeting i forgot to i turned it off that's why it wasn't appearing over there in teams but when you do that right when you do that you will see now that i have a few more options you can see right click over here open join online copy invite we can go ahead and copy the invites over here and if i click on it we can even see the skype invite link right here it's available on teams as well pretty cool and once you do that also if you click on it and you click on edit or actually just simply click on join skype meeting it'll automatically open up teams over here and you can go ahead and continue to browse here and it'll take you to the microsoft team where you can go ahead and get started with the meeting so right here it's getting started when you click on when you right click over here you can click on join skype meeting it's going to open up the team section over here and you can click on continue to browser and it'll open up the meetings app right it'll open up the teams application but you can go ahead and get started with the meeting right here it's on here you can go ahead and get started with it you can sync it invite people over here you can see right here currently that's only us we can go ahead and add people over here you can get the link to chat it's going to go ahead and get the link it's going to allow the people to join with the link copy that go into communities and then you can go ahead and paste it over here like so and add the title and then click on insert and there we have one of the posts and then we can go ahead and post it and boom and we now have a conversation people can come over here into your community join the conversation by this via this uh post in the community section which is pretty cool and it's as simple as that and it'll open up over here as well so now if i click over here we have the join option as well and if i click over here we can join it open it up edit it and we will have more options as well so if I open it up you can see right here join meeting option is now present so there you have it so that's how you do it that's how you can schedule a microsoft teams meeting within outlook your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works we post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content you will get new content every single day so don't worry about it so having said that thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye